In machine learning, regression models can help to investigate the relationship between variables. What does this mean exactly? Imagine that you collect the price of a package of pumpkins on different days of the year. You want to visualize this data, so you plot it such that the x value of each point is the day of the year the package is sold, and the y value is the price of the package. In this scenario, you can use regression to find a mathematical formula that represents the general trend of the data. This formula encodes the relationship between our x and y variables and enables us to predict y for any given value of x. In other words, it ena enables us to predict the price of a package of pumpkins given the day of the year it was sold. In machine learning, we commonly use three major types of regression, linear, polynomial, and logistic regression. We'll cover each of these types in detail in future videos, but let's compare them at a high level now. Linear regression uses a straight line to approximate the trend of our data points. Here, you can see the generic formula for the straight line and a graph showing a particular straight line that linear regression might find for the pumpkin data that we gathered earlier. The line that linear regression finds can be used to make predictions. In our scenario, we want to predict the price of a package of pumpkins for a particular day of the year. In this case, linear regression takes our input x, the day of the year, calculates the corresponding y, the price of a package of pumpkins, on the prediction line, and returns that. In this case, the trend of our data points can be nicely approximated by a straight line. But in other situations, that may not be the case. For those scenarios, we can consider polynomial regression, which is really just an extension of linear regression that uses a curve to represent the relationship between variables. In this case, x still represents the day of the year and y still represents the price of a package of pumpkins, but we introduce a new term in our formula that includes the square of the x variable. This enables the graph of the function to curve and potentially better fit the data. Linear and polynomial regression are great when the variable we want to predict is a numerical value, like the price of pumpkins. Let's now consider the scenario where you want to predict whether the color of a pumpkin is orange or white based on its size. In this case, the value you want to predict is a category, either orange or white, rather than a number. When we want to predict a category, logistic regression is a great method to use. Here's a graph that demonstrates logistic regression. In this scenario, x represents the size of the pumpkin, and y represents the probability of the pumpkin being white. The equation for the scenario is a bit more complicated, but the idea is simple. For a given pumpkin size, if the formula gives us a probability that is larger than a certain threshold, for example, 0.5, we predict that the pumpkin is white. Otherwise, we predict that it's orange. In the next few videos of this series, you'll learn about each of these regression types in more depth including how to implement them using Python code in Jupyter Notebooks. See you in the next episode.